Creating DNA nano networks for early disease detection and drug delivery. Nanotechnology offers exciting possibilities for the future of healthcare. For instance, nano devices could be implanted into our bodies to detect the early warning signs of disease or to deliver therapeutic drugs to exactly where they are needed. Because of the tiny size of nano devices, they are difficult to design and produce. Self-assembly, which involves taking simple structures and allowing them to combine to form larger, more complex structures, could be a solution to this problem. There are many examples of self-assembly in nature, such as the formation of DNA. By altering the properties of the building blocks of DNA, scientists can direct them to assemble into predetermined structures. Dr. Florian Lau and his colleagues at the Institute of Telematics in Lübeck, Germany, research how to alter special building blocks of DNA, which they call tiles, in such a way that allows them to self-assemble into nano-networks. The researchers show how such DNA-based nano-networks can perform a range of mathematical operations and how they can produce signals in response to markers that indicate the presence of a disease. Within a nano-network, Dr. Lau's team explains ways in which the tiles can connect with each other. Each tile is assigned glues, which can have different colours. The more glues a tile has, the higher the strength, which translates to the length of a DNA strand. Together, the strength and colour define the different connections that tiles can form, leading to a self-assembled nano-network, the program encoded in the glues allows only specific structures to form, which are called message molecules. Those messages may only be transmitted to nearby nanobots if the computation that was encoded in the assembly process finishes successfully. Dr. Lau and his colleagues proposed different mathematical operations to solve common medical problems. To do this, they worked out what combinations of tiles are required to carry out a certain operation. For example, a nano-network could be designed to release specific tiles when the markers of infection reach a threshold. Message molecules that self-assemble from the released tiles would be detected by a nanorobot, which would then deliver an antibiotic once it reaches an infection site. Such nano-networks could also be used to create smart medication or diagnostic tools that can check for multiple parameters to make a correct diagnosis with high certainty, exceeding the capabilities of commonly used tools. To test these nano-networks, the team ran computer simulations to see how these tiles would act in reality. It was important for the researchers to consider how errors might form in their nano-networks which could lead to misdiagnosis if a tile structure builds incorrectly or to unpredictable building of a nano-network. The team found lower error rates that likely wouldn't lead to unpredictable behaviour in environments similar to the human body. Dr. Lau's research offers an exciting step towards creating devices based on DNA nano-networks which could revolutionise the future of healthcare.